Shall we start off with a um, with, with 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 a picture in blue? Elephants are really all a series of balls. You've got one large ball for the body, one large ball for the head and the trunk. Um, let's go on. Using a, what am I using? I'm using an HB pencil to just basically get the, um, the, the the detail. Elephants are incredibly old, and if you're drawing either an elephant or a brontosaurus or a dinosaur of some sort, you want to get all these um, all these uh, wrinkles in if you possibly can. Elephants' eyes also are very dark, um, and then they've got little eyelashes. Um, and they're, they're, they're rather sweet. Um, now, uh, oh gosh, I didn't finish up here. Um, now the uh, this elephant was uh, is, is is called Tim. Astonishingly, I'm, I'm going to put I'm going to put some put some shading down the centre of the trunk here, um, and then I'm going to continue doing that. And I'm going to try try and develop. You 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 want to keep moving the whole picture forward. Tim has been living in the Amboseli Park in Kenya. Um, he was found by rangers um, from the Kimana Sanctuary in Kajiado County, and he's one of the Oldest, or he was one of the oldest and most studied bulls in Africa. Impressive animal. Um, and uh, I believe now he's, he, he's died, the information has just been announced, um, and uh, his body is going to be taken to Nairobi where he's going to be given to a taxidermist and he's going to be stuffed, um, which is um, not quite what one expects. Um, but he was found by a man called, I think, David Bates um, many years ago. He's been living. He's been living in the um, reserve for 50 years, I think. So he's a really old, really old elephant. He's um, he's not succumbed to the poachers. Tim has been in ill health, really, since at least 2016, when there was a campaign to keep Tim alive. Something, obviously, I would be... Uh, I, I rather warm to that idea. Um, so I'm just... I, I've sketched in the main... Um, areas of shade. Um, and one of the things you want to do with a, with an elephant, although it's quite a simple creature to draw, um, you want to get that sense of sense of size and sense of scale if you possibly can. Um, and uh, uh, and that involves a good deal of shadow. Um, you know, you don't want to be caught underneath or in the way. Elephants can't run. Did you know that elephants can't run? They're too big to run. And oh, the other extraordinary thing about elephants and the exciting thing about their feet is that they communicate with other, other elephants through their feet. It's called seismic communication. Isn't that spectacular? Um, and they also make noises with their... And their trunks are extraordinary. It's all muscle. It's all muscle. It's, it's, it's their nose. All muscle. And they, they can lift things up. You know, they can do amazing things with their trunks. 